This video is brought to you by, viz me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know I used to post some practice sketching on my Facebook page. It was sketching for some random words I generated from the random word generator website. Today's video, is another logo design practice video, where I will walk you through the whole process, from generating the keywords, to sketching the ideas, then vectorize it in Adobe Illustrator, and finally the presentation. So just go to the random word generator website. Change the words number to 2. The word type is set to nouns. Then set the word size to less than 6 letters. And then press generates random words to get to random words. I will go with these two words, war, ask. For sure these two words have no meaning together, but it is just a cool way to practice sketching and vectorizing. Now I try to extract some words related to the main keywords, to get some ideas to sketch. Now, I start sketching what comes to my mind from the extracted words. I started by illustrating some minimal forms of a tank. Then I try a shape of a shield or armor. Then I move to make some different grenade forms. And for the keyword ask, I will sketch a speech bubble and a question mark. And maybe a quotation mark. Now I combine the question mark with the tank form. Now I do the shield with the question mark. Now I try to combine a speech bubble with a grenade. along with a monogram of the two letters, W and A. And finally I make a combination of the question mark in the grenade form. Before we continue, I just wanna take time to thank the sponsor of today's video. VizMe is an easy and intuitive, yet powerful online tool, that empowers you to visualize and present your ideas, with no boundaries and no restrictions. It allows you to step beyond borders, and you will only be limited by your imagination. It's a perfect marriage between the key features of presentation and a design tool. You can create any form of visual content. From engaging presentations and infographics. To reports and visual resumes. Web graphics. Or any type of social media post or design. Vizme give you everything you need in one simple and intuitive interface. There is hundreds of easy to customize templates. Or you can create anything from scratch. Explore hundreds of beautiful fonts, and thousands of customizable icons. You can search and select from millions of images, or you can simply upload your own. Viz me, make you spice up your designs, by adding beautiful animated illustrations. 
and give you the freedom of applying your own color scheme. You can translate boring data into beautiful and easy to understand visuals and create professional charts and graphs. Visme empowers you to step out of the box and start visualizing your ideas. No longer bound by the lack of time or design skills, but only by your own imagination. You can create your free account at visme.com and use the code ART21 for 10% off Visme business plans. Now, I will walk you through the process of vectorizing two different concepts from the sketches. With the ellipse tool, make a small circle. Then hold out and drag it to the right to duplicate it. Then make it bigger. Select the two circles. Then go to Object, Blend, and click on Make. Then go to Object, and click on Expand, then press OK. Right click, and click on Ungroup. Now I delete some circles from the right to reduce the width. With the Type tool, type a question mark. Then make it bigger. I change the font to Mont Bold. Right click and click on Create Outlines. Ungroup it, then release the compound path. Drag the live widget to make these corners rounded. Drag it here. Then with the eyedropper give it the white color. Now I rotate it and adjust it, to fit as the wheels of the tank. Double click, then drag this a little bit to the right. Then I make the point a little bigger. Now with the pen tool, I'll make the top part of the tank. With the direct selection tool, I make those corners a bit rounded. Now I select the bottom part, Ctrl C to copy it, then select this part and press Ctrl F to paste in front. Then drag it up a little bit. Then hold Shift and select this part, then from the Pathfinder. Click on minus front. Now to make the tank's main gun. Make a horizontal rectangle. And place it here. Then I stretch it a little. Then make another one like this. And it's done passing to the grenade concept. I start by making a circle. I will try to make it look more like a grenade. So with the polygon tool, I'll make one here. Then I rotate it by 90 degrees. And I give it the black color. Make it smaller. And then align it to the top center of the circle, and make it overlap a little bit. With the Rotate tool, click on the center of the circle, then hold Alt and Shift and rotate to the right or left. Now repeat pressing Ctrl D, to repeat the same action. Delete the top and bottom polygons. Then select the rest and Ctrl G to group them, then select everything, and from the Pathfinder, click on Minus Front. With the Rectangle tool, make a one right here. Then make a wider one on the top. Make it a little higher. Then select everything, and align to the center. With the ellipse tool, 
Hold Alt and Shift and click and drag from the center of the grenade. Swap the fill and stroke. Then increase the stroke size. Move it a bit down. Then with the direct selection tool, I select this point, and I delete it. Then I do the same for this point. Then with the eraser, I delete a little bit from here. Now, make a circle right here. Decrease the stroke size to C. Then make it smaller. Select the lever of the grenade, then go to Object, and click on Expand, then press OK. Select the circle. Then increase the stroke size. And then press Ctrl X to cut it, then select the lever, and press Ctrl F to paste it in front. Go to Object, and then Expand. Hold Shift and select the lever. Then with the shape builder, hold Alt and click here on this part to delete it. Select everything and unite them with the pathfinder. With the type tool, make a question mark. Then make it bigger and drag it here. Then give it the white color. I move it down a little. Then right click and create outlines. Ungroup it. Right click and release the compound path. I drag this square down. Then I give it the grenade color. And then I make it rounded. With the direct selection tool, I select these two points. And I drag them down. And it's done. And this is the final result of the two logos. This is a little presentation that I made really quick, to show you how it will look when we use it. That's it for today, thank you for watching, you can write any tutorial suggestion in the community tab. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and activate the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you, and see you in another video.